Welcome back guys for my next tutorial. I'm sorry I've been away for so long and now that I'm back and I decided to make this quick tutorial uh, because um, I was reading the comments from my old tutorials and many of the ones that uh, people requested is that uh, I should make a, a simplified version of how to uh, remove noise from uh from the scene uh, uh during rendering so and that comment mostly came from this video that i made how to remove the noise from the scene so what i did is i decided to say okay i'm gonna make a simplified version of of this movie of this uh, tutorial so this is that's what we're gonna have in today so what we're gonna do here is i have uh these objects right here in my scene um so what we are going to do let me i just want to just want to increase that one just slightly right like that i don't want it to be penetrated into into the background so here what i have is this chair which is my diffuse material it's like a cloth and this leg which is a chrome material uh, this is also the base of this coffee table and uh, this glass right here it's a glass table and then i have this background here and my um sky dome lighting that's all i have and i've also created a camera you can see this is my render camera that we're gonna be rendering from and then this is this is how i set it here because so that i don't and i locked it you just click on it you know when you create your camera you click on it and you see you uh, if you want to lock it so you don't move it you just highlight something here and you right click and then you say lock selected so that's why what i have here and now if we take uh, a render of this one you can see we are having the noise everywhere so i'm gonna show you how you can remove this noise very easily right here so the first thing you need to do is you're gonna once you open maya this is what i do once i open maya i just go to settings and uh, i come i go to I, first i need to set my yeah this is this is low and then i come to aov and here i go to you're gonna select some aovs right here we we do um first what we need is diffuse we don't want this diffuse because this diffuse is a combination of this and this and we need this separate diffuse because they are they are controlling two different things this one is controlling the direct lighting that you have in your scene which could be this sky dome light or um uh, some other anode lighting like maybe it could be area light could be whatever light you have in your scene so this is controlling the samples of those the noise f that is in the scene co that's coming from all those direct lighting source and this one is coming from the the surroundings the global illumination yeah so i don't know yeah if that what you call it but the indirect lighting which is the the light that uh, the bounces on, on in your scene and then scatters all over the place to give your um, in, uh, your scene more lighting. In 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 the days we use mental ray, we call it uh, global illumination, something like that. So so we would need that one. So I'm gonna press Control and select this one. Now we are gonna go to specular once again this specular is a combination of this one and this and and here so we will need this one separately and then we will need let me put sss and transmission this is really not important except you having something like a, a human skin or um a translucent um object like maybe something like a wax a candles so this is that's when you need something uh, this sss is the is is it means subsurface scattering so um that's when you need it but in this i was saying we don't have it but i'm including it here because it appears in the render settings so that's why i'm gonna show you while i'm in 
taking it here and then this uh, transmission so once you're done with that you just add it over here and then you can close so now if you see when you the render we did before we only had beauty so now if you re-render you would now can see that we have all that aov that we added all right so um now that it's finished if you look at our diffuse you can see this is the only diffuse material that we have here that is uh showing out how the 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 amount of samples that we have for the diffuse and here we have indirect so these are the light that bounces off the 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 scene and scatters all over to illuminate the scene much more so and now we have our specular specular with which is the the metals the aluminium the brush metals and chrome materials and all that things that's that's what we have right in this uh, specular and this specular direct is also uh the uh direct lighting that is controlling this the the noise that we have here and indirect this is these are uh, indirect specular and I will show you how to deal with these things one by one. And you can see we don't have any uh, translucent or soft surface scattering object in the sense. So that's why it's, it's, uh, it's black. We don't have anything. And then we have transmission. Transmission is this the glass that we have here. These are the refractions. So it's normally the glass. Okay. All right. So what we need to do now is let's start checking I, I want to show you why you need to identify your noise so that you know where to tackle all right so first of all let's do deal with this diffuse i'm going to save this this render right here and i you know let's deal with the sump the diffuse first so i told you this noise we have here and all over this place is coming from our direct uh lighting source and the place we're gonna change to improve this direct lighting source is to go to the um to the samples of that light itself not in the render settings in the lighting source so what we need to do is we select that and we go to we just need to go to the and we have to check our the the source is right here the samples here so if we begin to increase it let me increase it to something like five or six and you begin to see that our noise for the lighting uh for the direct diffuse has tremendously improved you can see all those noise that we had here at that time is gone so if i save this image and it also the noise that we had here has also reduced we still see this noise here because the noise we are seeing here right now is not from this direct uh, uh, lighting source is coming from indirect lighting source so if you check right now you can see we had much more um noise before than we have now you see so for us to get rid of these ones right here we need to increase the the in the indirect so and for us to increase the indirect sampling we have to do it from here this this setting right here is the one that controls the indirect uh lighting source okay so we have to crank it up to something like let's say five and let's allow that to render so you can see right now we are beginning to have a more smoother um, uh, diffuse here see the noise is beginning to disappear the reason we still have it here is because you see our anti-aliasing is still zero okay so let's save it you can see compare this one with this one you see that we still we still have some um noise so and the reason is that we our 
AA samples is set to zero. So we need to increase that to maybe something like three or four. Let's put it in three. So you can see how this is um, it's going to improve a lot more right now because what we have here is a multiplication of this and this. So now we're having a much more render time than when we had it in zero. And if you notice our um, our specular is beginning to improve as well because we increased this one. So now what happened is that this three here has been multiplied by this one. So we actually had what the system is now calculating is actually three here instead of one. So and here we now have a very nice uh, smooth um, uh, specular sorry diffused right here so and uh, but here we are still not seeing a lot of improvement for us to see a lot of improvement here what we need to do is we need to increase our specular and before I do that I'd like to reduce this one to like one because I don't want to increase my render time while we are still working so what we need to do is I'm gonna crank this one up to like six and then you see that now we will have we will, the noise here we come back but the noise here will definitely improve a lot more so let's give it time to um, to render here By the way, the machine I'm using is just my laptop because I'm still traveling because I've been working on a project for like a year right now. So uh, that's why I don't have my uh, my computer with me. So this is uh, the laptop that I'm use that I use for some for something quick. So um, it's quite slow. So maybe I'm just gonna uh, pause the um, the render and I will be back when it's finished. All right. Because you don't want to sit watching me doing this here so let me give it a pause and I'll be back so you can see the render is still going on but you can see that we are having a very nice and smooth amazing kind of uh, uh, material that is coming up here you can see there is very nice I like the way it's coming out even in the hidden places here the noise is uh, uh, has greatly improved and if you notice the our glass is not improving that much that is because we haven't really increased this one right here so when we do that that also will be improved as well and if you want to know how I, I I modeled and did the 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 texturing for the settings for this um, glass here i have a tutorial on how to model uh, realistic glass in that tutorial i showed you how you can achieve the green edges that we normally see in um, in most glasses because glasses are not just that clear there are some green edges that you see along the edges uh, but in this case what i have here is like a tinted coffee color um glass so uh, instead of making that these edges um uh, green i made it to be like a coffee color so it, it it matches uh what i'm trying to do here so what we need to do now you can see that one has has really improved so if you want to see how to model this glass please check out that uh, tutorial now finally what we're gonna do right now is um, increase all the settings here um, um, so that we have everything but then is going to um, add to the render time the render time is gonna increase significantly so what we need to do is let me also you can maybe I want to render the glass part only so I'm going to increase that one right there I want to see because I don't want it I don't want it too high 
I want to see how it's coming out. Okay, nice. It's really very good right now. So you can see I have some dots here, some scratches here. So these are uh, the bump that I, I applied to to the to my glass so that it gives it that kind of scratchy or some um, uh, stain or whatever, some dirt on the glass. So that's the, this, uh, the scratches you're seeing here. But besides that, the noise is is good. Actually, four is fine. I will leave it at four. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the whole image. I'm going to increase this one again to five, and I'll increase this one also to also five, and then I'm gonna render everything and. Uh, if you want to work with this, this um, uh, the same objects that I'm working with, you can go to everycg.com. There you can download this um, this scene like this. So you can, if you want to work with it, or you can model your own. You can use whatever you want, okay? But if you want to use this, you can go to everycg.com. There you can be able to download this this scene the chair and the table all right so um this one is gonna take a little bit of some time so what we're gonna do is um i'm going to pause the video once again and allow it to render and once it's done i'll be back and if you have any questions please or any requests whatever you, you want to know you can uh, drop it in the comment section below and that is it um, so let me give it a pause and when it's finished I will come back and show you guys all right stick around okay our render is finished and this is how it is you can see everything is nice and clear we don't have noise anymore my scratches here are coming the dirt are coming out nicely and we, everything is smooth here so this is how you deal with your noise in the scene i hope this is uh, more direct to the point and i hope i have addressed the the issue that the, the commenter has asked and uh, if you have more questions, please um, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to watch here, I maybe you can consider um, subscribing uh, so we, you can be part of the community to support this channel. And uh, let me know if you have any more questions. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.